is Percy Smith from Wolverhampton Music Service. This video is the second of two videos explaining how to work out and use jazz scale patterns. You may find this video useful if you are studying for a jazz exam with scale requirements, starting to read chords and improvise, or simply if you are looking to widen your theory knowledge. In this video I will be covering the following scales. For each pattern I am going to start on note C. I will explain how to work out the patterns and which chords they can be played over. At the end of the video, I will talk through how to transpose the patterns into other keys so that you can apply the information to any other starting note. For this reason, you may want to pause this video and get a pencil and some manuscript paper so that you can work along with the video. I'm starting with a major scale, which will be familiar to most people and will be the starting point for a lot of our working from this video. There are no sharps or flats in the key of C major, which makes it a good starting point. Like most scales, this pattern is constructed by using one of each pitch letter. Next, we have two pentatonic scales. The thing that these two scales have in common is the fact that they are pentatonic, in other words, containing five different notes. To create the major pentatonic scale, we take notes 1, 2, 3, 5, 6 and 8 from the major scale. To create the minor pentatonic, we take notes 1, flat 3, 4, 5, flat 7 and note 8 from the major scale. If you are looking into improvising, the major pentatonic scale would fit over major or dominant chords and the minor pentatonic would fit over minor chords. Blues scales are popular in jazz music because they use a set of intervals that create a typically bluesy sound as the name suggests. To create a blues scale we take notes 1, flat 3, 4, flat 5, natural 5, flat 7 and 8 from the major scale. Alternatively, you could just think of the blues scale as the minor pentatonic scale with the addition of a flattened fifth. If you are looking into improvising, this scale will fit well over a minor chord or a minor seven chord. The diminished scale is based on a pattern of alternating tones and semitones. For many people, working in this way using intervals can be an easy way to understand the scale. Alternatively, you can think in relation to the major scale by taking notes one, two, flat 3, 4, flat 5, flat 6, natural 6, 7 and 8. The diminished 7th is the arpeggio paired with this scale. This is an interesting pattern because it is made up entirely of minor thirds, which is the interval of three semitones. To create the diminished 7th pattern which goes with this scale, we take the 1st, 3rd, 5th and 7th degrees of the scale. Alternatively, you could think of this as notes 1, flat 3, flat 5 and double flattened 7th from the major scale. If you are looking into improvising, this scale and arpeggio pairing would fit over a diminished chord which can be written like this. Like the diminished 7th, the whole tone scale is based off a repeated interval. As the name suggests, the scale is constructed by notes which are all one tone apart. Using this interval pattern is an easy way to construct the scale. Alternatively, you could think of the scale as using notes 1, 2, 3, sharp 4, sharp 5, sharp 6 and 8 of the major scale. The augmented arpeggio is often paired with this scale. To create this pattern we can take notes 1, 3 and 5 from the whole tone scale. Alternatively, you might just want to think of the augmented arpeggio as a major arpeggio with a sharpened fifth. If you are looking into improvising, this scale and arpeggio pairing would fit over a sharp 5 chord, also known as an augmented chord. I'm now going to work through an example of how to transpose these patterns so that you can start them on any note or in any key. I am going to work in relation to C major, going up a perfect fifth to a new key of G major. If you are confident in transposing, then you might want to pause the video now and have a go at transposing the patterns by interval yourself. Alternatively, you can listen along as I talk through how to transpose them based on the patterns explained earlier. Feel free to pause the video as necessary where you need extra time to think or write out your own workings. We start with a G major scale. Don't forget it has a key signature of one sharp. To create the major pentatonic scale we take notes 1, 2, 3, 5, 6 and 8 from the major scale. Next, to work out the minor pentatonic scale we take notes 1, flat 3, 4, 5, flat 7 and 8 from the major scale. In this case, it means that the B has become a B flat and the F sharp has been lowered to become an F natural. 
To create the blues scale, we take notes 1, flat 3, 4, flat 5, natural 5, flat 7 and flat 8 on the major scale. This means that the B becomes a B flat, the D becomes a D flat and the F sharp becomes a natural like before. To create the diminished scale, I'm going to work in intervals, alternating the use of tones with semitones. To create the G diminished 7th arpeggio, I'm also going to work using intervals, moving up a minor third or three semitones to find each note until I arrive back at the tonic. To create the whole tone scale, like before we can work in intervals, leaving one tone between each pitch. Finally, to create the augmented arpeggio, I'm going to work in relation to the major scale, taking the chord tones 1, 3, 5 and 8, but applying a sharp to the fifth. Thank you for watching. Come back again to see the videos we will be releasing to support you at home. If you've enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe to the channel.